Alright brothers and sisters, fellow YouTube citizens, back once again, uh, uh, of course, share information but in a different form, doing a video response, so I want to address you all first, you know, the way YouTube got this whole video response thing, kind of look like you talking to yourself, if uh, the little bar, the little subtitle don't post on the bottom of the video, so in case the subtitle don't post on the bottom, those who you normally watch my channel know what's going on know what I'm doing but it's to as far as to my man Kevin about you're not African American true that is absolutely the correct the truth of the matter is you're an Israelite and of course there's a lot of history on that and if you watch all my uh, on my channels my, my series Abraham Seed in America you will know what I'm talking about and you know, referring to as far as being an Israelite but that is true and here's a little quick uh, quick proof on it okay now number one is you're not a American period I'm gonna start on that end first black people in this country are not Americans none whatsoever number one is those people on Mount Rushmore are not our forefathers nor our founding fathers the forefathers of black people is Abraham Isaac and Jacob so Abraham is not up there Abraham Lincoln but not the same Abraham in the Bible you know Abraham Lincoln Chester A. Arthur we H. Taft and Theodore Roosevelt those founding fathers on Mount Rushmore but none of these are related to the blacks brought over here on this soil because of the simple fact you know we was brought over here as slaves our ancestors brought over here as slaves so our, our ancestors weren't considered American they was considered everything else but an American Negroes, the other N word coons, all sorts of stuff so we was never considered American even today a lot of these hate groups and coalition groups that's forming against Obama say go back to Africa and yeah I mean it's you have your you have racism on both ends don't get me wrong you know blacks you know racist towards whites whites racist towards blacks but where did the origin of racism come from other than Charles Darwin the group racism came from of course is mostly white and to my white brothers and sisters watching it you know no offense but just laying history out as it is but racism mostly came from mostly white so the slaves or the blacks today or as far as the younger generation is learning racism from the elder generation and the elder generation is racist because of what they experienced growing up out in the fields so that's where the racism comes from on the black end now where it came from on the white end is Esau but there's another story on that but bottom line is came over here as slaves weren't considered Americans considered Negroes and the other things our relatives those are not our relatives on Mount Rushmore if you are related to those people on Mount Rushmore you are an American and the majority of European descendants British descendants French etc are related to those people on Mount Rushmore but the blacks over here are not so that's why we are not considered American because those are not our forefathers nor our founding fathers as Abraham Isaac and Jacob alright I wanna flip in Africa number one we are not African neither because of the simple fact that land according to in scripture is called Cush or the Hamites the, Ham the Hamitic people which the land of course it was first the land of Ham then flipped over to being Cush and hadn't changed because Nimrod didn't take ownership of the land of Cush he went over towards the Assyrian end but anyhow the land is originally called Cush so we not Africans nor are we Cushites but we Semites and it links back to the history up in the Bible now a lot of people want to oppose and reject the Bible but it's got genealogy the history the origin of how these lands were brought about how civilization was brought about so unless you zoom in as long as you neglect the Bible you don't zoom in 
into the doctrine in the Bible. You will never fully understand about genealogy, different people, and you will never understand about anthropology as well. You will understand anthropology thoroughly when you refer back to the scriptures about who's who. But we the Semites, the 400 year prophecy, there's up in the Bible about blacks coming over here or so called blacks coming over here, which really Israelites coming over here. And I was going to teach on that after this video response when I get time because I got some ahead of me. I got a lot of stuff to get out of the way, more chores. As far as about Africa, I mean about um, about Egypt in America, how that Deuteronomy 28:6 day prophecy of Egypt in America, how Egypt in America the history is identical and so forth. But that's a whole other video set. So my brother, you know, do a little bit more studying as far as you talking about you're a Black American. You're not an American, period. Because those are not your people on Mount Rushmore. So, no, you're not an American. You're an Israelite. Israel. The true Israel. And I can prove this in whatever angle you want me to prove it from. Whatever question you ask. Whatever, which way. I will lay it out there. Because I get in the ring all the time on this. As far as us being the true Israel. So... That's pretty much it. I want to cover on that. And uh, as I always depart, peace be unto you in Christ's life.